It's Route 66 Connect. You know I came from nothing. Oh, I see. Your tracks today. The gutter, D boy, she's gonna ride with me. Ban me from the beat, cause I couldn't stop dripping. Pretty ladies with me, gripping, graining, now we sipping. Matter of fact, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Spank the World. And first and foremost, I want to hope everybody out there enjoying their day to day. And y'all already know, man, we're gonna be quick with it. You know what I'm saying? Just a quick video today, man. And uh, y'all can see, man, it's, it's hot outside today. So I'm down here in this basement, man, trying to keep cool, <laughs> you know what I mean? But for real, for the real reason, I started the uh, video, man, because uh, we're going to be messing with Sky Blue today. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I told y'all I was going to be doing something with the music, and this this sort of like a temporary thing, because I'm not sure, I'm quite sure this probably ain't going to be the, you know, the permanent radio I'm going to use, but like right now, I got like the tape deck and, or AM, FM radio, and, uh, and I believe tape deck broke so i'm pretty much tired of the amf from radio and uh i've been putting one of my bluetooth speakers in the car pretty much tired of charging that thing taking it in and out the car whenever i want to spend some corners in the uh, sky blue so yeah man we just got like a little just a little quick radio man so we can have a uh had a bluetooth for my phone to play off you know play you know youtube songs or uh pandora things like that you know what i'm saying because, you know, like I say, AMFM was just getting turned, you know, the radio stations, and then I was uh, bringing my Bluetooth in and out the car. That's getting tired because I be having to uh, charge the Bluetooth. So, you know, about tired of that. And like I say, this ain't, uh, this probably ain't going to be a permanent radio because I'm still undecided on what exact radio because I really want like a screen in there. I'm just pretty much undecided on what screen I want. More than likely, maybe a flip out but i still ain't sure and um all that's gonna come when i get ready to put the music in there you know if you guys follow me if you've been following me in the beginning y'all know i had this uh tahoe that had all types of music in it and so i still got all the music i don't got the tahoe no more but i still got all the music which is pretty much the music i want to put in sky blue but before we all do that like i say when i'm turning my corners i just need something to listen to so this is sort of like a temporary thing man and um I say I'm just gonna put this in for now until we figure out what you know permanent head you know I want to use and uh just uh I'm gonna turn the camera around too so I can show y'all what radio I'm just gonna go with real quick but before we do all that man if it ain't too much trouble hit that subscribe button for me like the videos share the videos and comment on the video man I appreciate all that but uh let me turn this camera around and show y'all a little radio we're just gonna throw in real quick <laughs> yeah so uh that's with these old cars, you always gotta have a dash kit. You know what I'm saying? Single bin or a dash kit. And I picked up all this from Walmart. Like I say, this is just some temporary. This, this radio was like probably like 80 bucks. And the dash kit probably was like 15. Then when you install the radios, you always need the wire harness. And this wire harness might have been about $12. But uh, like I say, the reason why we in the house today because beforehand you always gotta like wire up the wire harness to the radio wires and once you wire up the wire harness to the radio wires that just allows you to just tap into your factory you know outlet in the car so that's why i'm in the house now because i usually always uh wire up the wire harness to the radio just sitting in the house you know because it don't take that long but i just sit in the house comfort because you just sit there and wire it up in your own comfort and don't even be uncomfortable so i usually do that first and now, like I say, just the radio, a little Sony type radio. Y'all can see it, see if y'all can see it. But yeah, man, it got everything I need Bluetooth, hands free calling. Like I say, you hook the iPhone, your iPod, or Android, anything like that to it. So, it'll do the job for me. I just need the Bluetooth to play my music off my phone. And uh, that way I ain't got to keep listening to AM, FM radio and bring in the um, Bluetooth, my Bluetooth speaker in and out the car. <laughs> but uh, like I say, first thing that you got to do is just wire up this, this wire harness to this radio so it just plug it into your factory. So that's what I'm going to do now, man. Get this thing open. And uh, wire it up real quick. I'm going to open it 
episode for open up for y'all so y'all can see it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, man. I'm gonna put the headband on, let y'all watch a little bit. I ain't gonna film a lot of it. Just pretty much, uh, ain't that hard. Once you get in the car, it ain't even that hard. And then, as far as wiring this up, just these few wires, wire that up. So all that ain't that hard. So I ain't probably gonna film all of it. I will put y'all on the headband, though, and film some of it. And once we get out in the car, once I get this wired up and get out in the car, I'll film some of it on the headband. But before that, man, I gotta, you know, it's child time. About to eat some of this food, get some energy in me. You know what I'm saying? It's good Chipotle. So, yeah, let me eat this food, man, and then we're gonna get out here and mess with Sky Blue. Okay, guys, so I finally wired up the uh, wire harness, and it really ain't that hard, man. Uh, color coded, so you just gotta connect uh, any color wire to the other color wire that's the same color. Like I said, it's color coded. You just connect the wires, man. It ain't that hard. You got the uh, speaker wires, the power wire, ground wire, and like a remote or antenna wire. It ain't that hard. But as y'all can see, I just tape, you know, connect the wires. Like I say, you just connect the wires to the other harness, the same color. You know what I'm saying? You can use connectors, but I always use tape and tape them real good. Then you can melt the tape over the wires and I usually put like a little strappy tie to hold them together. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. Got the wire harness wired up. And like I say, you just putting the wires to the other color. They identical colors. Like once you buy your uh, aftermarket wire harness to hook to your radio's wire harness, you, uh, you know, you're gonna have the, uh, they're gonna be the same colors or whatnot. So that's how that works. And, uh, like I say, so I gotta wire it up, and you got 
speaker wires you got purple speaker wires are purple white gray and green you got one negative one positive so like i say you just hook the wires up to, to each other man and then you can buy the plastic connectors but i usually use tape because you can hand twist the wires together i like that way because <laughs> hand twisting them together you know them joints together baby but uh yeah man that's it and uh so got this part down got it wired up now all we gotta do is install it we do gotta uh we is gonna have to like you know uh, put the little dash kit together and what the dash kit do is it just give you a bracket to the radio and then you pick the right dash kit for your year car and then the dash kit once you you know connect your radio to it it just screw right in just like factory so that's what we're about to do next man i'm gonna put the dash kit together i'm gonna pull the cutty out out the garage so we can have some light and then we're gonna uh install the radio man it's gonna be real quick stay tuned So you see we got that bezel off. The bezel will just snap off like that. Yep, just snap off like that. So you want to get your bezel off. Then once you get your bezel off, you got four screws to remove. One, two, three, four. You got four screws to remove once you get your bezel off. So I'm gonna get these screws removed. And then I'm, I'm gonna show y'all me taking the radio out. Okay guys, so we removed the uh, four screws and pulled the radio out. As y'all can see, factory radio. Pull it out, once you pull it out, just kinda set it down. You're gonna have to disconnect the little connectors in the back. You wanna disconnect the antenna. That's the antenna, disconnect the antenna. Then you're gonna wanna disconnect these. Just connect all these little plugs. So, and then the radio gonna come out. Just connect them plugs, just connect that plug, and the radio will be completely out. But, as y'all can see, we got the radio out, man. So, let me get this thing disconnected because I'm gonna use two hands, and I ain't feel like uh, hooking up my headband. So, I'm just using the, uh, holding the camera and family for y'all. I ain't feel like hooking up my head, man. So I need both hands. But I'm gonna have to unhook these. Mike, I got them ones without with my one hand. I don't think I was. But uh yeah that's it. Just unhook them plugs and then the radio gonna come out. But let me unhook them man. Get this uh dash kit ready. Got the radio completely out. Y'all can see the factory wires, and 
needs what's gonna hook up right to our uh right to our wire harness. Right here. We're gonna hook up right to our wire harness. We good to go. I'm gonna need two hands to hook them up, but trust me, they plug and play, baby. Plug in right here, these three plug into the black. And these three right here plug into the black black. And then you got this black one right here that plug in right there. And then you got the uh radio antenna. You're gonna plug that in behind the radio. So we got it out, baby. For the factory radio, I'm gonna say this. Keep this for good safe keep. Uh, say that joint. You got it out. So let me get this uh gotta get this dash kit together and figure out which uh bracket I need. Um, you know, bracket the radio or mount the radio to the dash kit. Then we're gonna install this baby. It's gonna be the last time y'all see this baby like this. Huh? Sony. Sony coming soon. Yeah, we got that Sony coming, man. Coming soon. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we got the radio wired up. Hold on. Get this little plastic off here so you can see this, baby. We got it wired up and plugged up. Y'all see it's lighting up. Y'all already know what I'm loving the most, man. <laughs> this baby light up blue. Sky blue. <laughs> Y'all know I had to have that. That baby light up blue. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it's lighting up and everything good. Now I can uh, assemble the dash kit, mount this baby, and bolt it on down. Stay tuned. We're making progress. Okay, guys, it got dark on me. The boy them, the boy them ran out of daylight. But we definitely got it in, man. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's dark. It got dark on me. But uh, that's it, man. We got it in. The radio in. Y'all see it says ready. Bluetooth. All that, man. Like I say, we ran out of daylight, so it got dark on me, man. But y'all see it. Y'all definitely see it, man. Get that radio in. Yeah, man, but uh, like I said, we done ran out of daylight, so it's time for me to end this video, baby, but at the end of the day, that radio in there, baby. So uh, I don't know what's next, man. We might have to take this thing for a wash or something, get y'all a good review of it. Y'all can see this radio and see the cutty sky blue in the daylight, man. But uh, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Subscribe to the channel, all that, man. Like the videos, man. Catch y'all next time.